Happy Friday, Quakes. On today's episode of Quaker TV, Emma Brown brings us the championship of the Salem Trivia Contest between Mr. DeBar and Ms. Burke. Libby Ripley was in the halls telling some of her best jokes. And Clayton Lake mic'd up Mr. DeBar for the annual Stafford Students Volleyball Game. All of that and more on episode 10 of Quaker TV. And it all starts now. Welcome back to Quaker TV. I'm Jax. And I'm Maya. And here are your announcements for Friday, December 6th. Seniors, the following scholarships are now available. PIEF Scholarship, Ohio Forestry Memorial Scholarship, and the Tanya Lehman Mentoring Scholarship. Stop in the guidance office for a copy if interested. Sweatshirt sales are underway in room 133 with samples on display. Payment is due with orders. The sale benefits the Reach for the Stars store and student camp fee accounts and will end today with delivery in time for Christmas. After two fierce battles in round one of the Teacher Trivia Challenge, winners Mr. DeBar and Ms. Berg are back to see who knows more about the town they teach in. Will it be Mr. DeBar, a Quaker born and raised, or will Ms. Berg, a Salem transplant, prove to be victorious? Our own downtown M. Brown sat down with these two fierce competitors to crown a champion. Who's the first president of the United States? George Washington! <laughs> <laughs> Who invented the telephone? Alexander Graham Bell. Is that, is that even a snack? He just pushed it off the table. Is that right? I mean, what if I wanted to go in and go pick it up, but I counted? History teacher answers the history question, and then what would you call that? Science question? I guess. That's no, history. Yeah, yeah, science, history, and mm -hmm. science. Okay, which month has 28 days? February? What? No. That's a lie. No. There you go. Come it's the bar's turn. All of the mic yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, Let's go! Okay. <laughs> what never asks a Wait, question, but gets answered all the time. But never asks a question. It gets answered all the time. <laughs> the telephone. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at you. Okay, last one. How many letters are in Mississippi? Four. <laughs> well, no, four types of letters. Now I'm gonna look like an idiot. Yeah. Eleven. M I S. And four. 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 Did you expect anything else but me to win? Mrs. Burke, it was, it's always a pleasure. Yep. Yeah. $550 in gift cards being raffled off by the class of 2022 for various dining and retail establishments. Tickets are 5 for 1 or 5 for 20. Drawing will be held at the boys, at the boys varsity basketball game at halftime. On December 17th. If you are interested in purchasing a ticket, please see Miss Blaine in athletics. We also have flavored meat sticks available for one dollar each in athletics and in Mr. Colbert's room. Mr. Samu will be holding auditions for the spring musical Cinderella on Monday, December 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the choir room. Come prepared to sing a very short song. The auditions are one at a time. There will be a sign up posted on the door outside of the choir room. Don't delay. Check out the list of characters also posted. Knock, knock. Who's there? It's Libby Ripley, and she's roaming the halls of SHS to spread some laughter and try to put on some smiles of the faces of our Quaker staff and students with her classic dad jokes and anti-jokes. Let's see how she did. I'm playing, and you're watching Disney Channel. What do you call a rooster staring at lettuce? I don't know what you call it. A chicken sees a salad. <laughs> what kind of medicine did the bed take? 
I don't know. Pillows. <laughs> oh my gosh. A bear with no teeth. I don't know why. A gummy bear. What is the fish name as kid? What? Yo. The hot dog say after I ran, won the race. I don't know. I'm the wiener. Uh -huh. It's the best side of the house to put a porch on. The outside. <laughs> why was why did Kayla go to the river when she was sad? I don't know why. To fish for compliments. <laughs> Alright, now that, that, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> spaghetti and sauce go to dinner. I don't know. The meatball. <laughs> it's black, white, orange, and waddles. A penguin carrying a jack-o'-lantern. <laughs> what do you call a snowman? I don't know what. Water. What kind of pets does a band have? Um, trumpets. Um, but not get in trouble. No, you don't want to get Second base. <laughs> that was a good one. Peter catches fish. With his internet. Dang it. What did Mr. and Ms. Hamburger name their dog? Patty. He treats like... I don't know. A pineapple. Why do owls always get invited to parties? Because they're a hoot. Larry. I don't dinosaurs eat clowns. I don't know. Because they taste funny. What kind of band plays snappy music? I don't know. I don't know. A rubber band. Where did the elephant store its suitcase? And it's strong. Bear with no teeth. A toothless bear. A gummy bear. <laughs> Why do fish live in salt water? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because they're allergic to pepper. <laughs> Why are bees' hair sticky? Why are bees' hairs sticky? Yeah. Do bees have hair? Yeah. They've been in too much honey. Because they use a honeycomb. Uh. You know what they say? Ooh, words. Crazy. What's red and bad for your teeth? I don't know. A brick. <laughs> you know what they say? No. Words. <laughs> what did the grape say when it got crushed? Ow? Nothing. Grapes can't speak. My friend thought an onion was the only thing, like food, that would make him cry. So I threw a watermelon at his face. Funny. One Japanese guy said to the other. Uh, I think I'm good. I don't know. I don't speak Japanese. Okay, that's. <laughs> What's red and bad for your teeth? A brick. <laughs> What's brown and sticky? Right, this is white. A stick. Okay, this is white. That was a good one. I six for seven. Seven, eight, nine. No, numbers don't have feelings. <laughs> Red and bad for your teeth. I don't know. What is A brick. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I like it. Guess what I saw today? Did you see? Everything I looked at. There's a peer tutoring group starting during lunches on Tuesday, December 10th and Thursday, December 12th, during lunch. 
B lunch will be in the conference room next to Marshall's, and C lunch will be in the learning commons. Any student can stop by and get help in any class that they're struggling with. The Fellowship of Christian Athletes meeting for Thursday is canceled. We will resume meeting after the first of the year. Thanksgiving is traditionally a time to reflect on what we all have to be thankful for. It has also become a tradition for the staff at our junior high to take on our 8th grade girls in the annual staff versus students volleyball game. I run Clayton Lake put a mic on Coach DeBar to get a closer look at this holiday tradition. Oh, all of the trash. This is bad. Oh, okay, first shot. Really get this jump serve down. Jump serve, sit. Yeah, duh. Okay. What are we doing? Oh, that's right. She had, you wanted no part of that. I'm doing this or this. I got it. I got it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Huh? Nobody can get injured, huh? Oh! oh. Come on, come on! Oh! Oh! I agree. Hamilton's really good at that. I'm awful. No! Ah! Uh, staff, but I don't even know if they'll score a point. So how many, what is the uh, best of three sets or something? Uh, two, zero, obviously they score zero points. And DeBar MVP, probably. <laughs> nice job, Glasser. Kaylee, we gotta turn the attitudes around over here. The attitudes, there's no confidence over there. I'm gonna stuff somebody right here. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't realize you were coming under the net. Oh my. 23 to seven, and I don't even know if it's that close. What's that? The scoreboard says 23 to seven, but I'm not sure it's that close. I'm about to stuff one for the win. Twin towers right here, Kurt. Right down on your head. You need confidence, let's go. A little more confidence. Let's go. Where is my helmet? Are we done? That's okay. You guys are all better volleyball players than us with the exception of Hamilton. So let's go. Let's turn it around here. We need some confidence. Let's go. That's just that's just garbage. We're gonna kill him. Out of us? Amp it up a little bit. No subs. Getting old. Hey! Let's go! Is that, oh, I thought that was game. That's it. As expected, staff dominates again. Duh! See you next year, 8th grade. That's all for your announcements for today. For Quaker TV, I'm Amaya. And I'm Jax. We leave you today with a look at the broadcast students putting up the class Christmas tree. Happy holidays from all of us here at Studio 203.